Hey guys, welcome to tarsstud.com. I am Ripon Dutta. Today I am going to discuss about C Sharp method overloading. First of all, what is method overloading? Method overloading is when two or more methods have same name but different signatures. For example, method 1 and method 2 have the same name, print name but different signature. So what is method signature? It consists on method name and its parameters, excluding return type. So although these two methods have the same return type but, but it is not considered as a signature. For example, this one, this print method, string name, string address and second print method string name address and phone number so these two methods have different signatures now let's get started with visual studio go to file menu new project console application method overloading okay so this is our program class now let's take another class called math in the math class Um, we don't twenty percent. We can take, for example, public double sum integer x or integer sum one or integer integer number 2 number 1 plus number 2 similarly public double sum double number 1 Number two return number one number two public double sum integer number one number two number three Return number one plus number two plus number three. So in this class, there are three methods. These are some some method same name but different signature. This signature is different from this one and from this one. So, how can we run this? Math Sum For example, 5, 2 So we can console right line this one we can run this control f5 7 
or we can say similarly 5.5 7.5 okay then we can write another method for example like this so 10 now we can debug this program so you can easily understand press f11 so f11 it goes first method because these are two integer number 5 and 2 are integer number so it comes here because parameter this one is integer and this one is also integer then it returns the summation for this case it will go second uh, method because uh, this in this case we are we are sending one double value and another is integer value first one is double second one is integer that's why it comes here double and integer type so and finally we are sending three parameter so it comes here first one is here 5 2 3 and 2 finally it returns the value now we can check for example um 2.5 then it is returning an error because these are invalid arguments 5 integer 3 integer and 2.5 is double type where this method has integer 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 if it is double in this case it would be okay now it is okay or we can run this that means signature must be different now we can add another method integer and double type it will give you an error because this is not matching with this with this one not only not this one not this one and not this one so we need to make another method sum integer num1 integer double num2 number 2 so you can see this method and this method almost similar but in this case double type is, is the first parameter and second one is integer and in this case first one is integer and second one is double but this is you know these are two different methods so in this case summation is a some method is overloading because method name is same for all cases this one sum 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 but for the different signature this method is overloading so we can run the program again yeah this is so 5.2 5.5 5 2.5 5 3 2.5 this is the answer so thank you very much for watching this tutorial if you like this tutorial don't forget to subscribe this channel and make a positive comment in the comment box thank you